welcome back to the vlog. Um, I am joined today by my beautiful children who have terrible separation anxiety apparently and can't leave me alone for five seconds. Um, so today I am 19 weeks and six days actually. I am a little bit late on doing this update for you guys. It's something that I wanted to kind of update you guys on. And I've really only mentioned it a little bit in my 18 week video and the intro clip. You hear me talk about my placenta being anterior and basically that means that my placenta is here at the front and it makes it harder for me to feel movement from the baby. So where I probably would have been feeling movement around 16, 17 weeks, I didn't start feeling movement until this week. And this week I have been feeling so much movement. Finally, um, it's really exciting. It's like the funnest yeah, part of pregnancy. Yeah, come back here. And I'm not, yet. I'm not feeling it like at the front where I normally would feel it. I feel it like all down here in the lower areas of my belly, um, like closer to my cervix area. Um, and then like on the sides and stuff. But anywhere where the placenta actually is, I don't feel anything. Um, so that's a little bit weird. It's totally different than anything I've experienced. But I am feeling a lot of movement this week. So that's really exciting. I'm actually starting to swell a little bit. Um, not a lot, but like my rings on my fingers, I'm not wearing them right now, but they're starting to feel a lot tighter. Um, and I did learn this past weekend. Hey, I'm going. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh huh. I did learn this past weekend that a natural home remedy for the swelling is to eat watermelon or asparagus. So I've been eating some watermelon, and it really, really helps with the swelling. So something else we're starting to think about are actually buying things in preparation for this baby. We really don't have that much to buy because Zoe's only one and a half and we have everything that we use for her and I am not above reusing anything. In fact, um, I really am trying to keep the budget low for this baby and I would love to get everything um, second hand, I mean things that you can't get second hand, I'm not going to get like used pacifiers or anything like that, but um, I would love to get everything from thrift shops, second hand stores, there's a really cute one down the street that I love to shop at and they always have the cutest stuff, um, so that's kind of where my mind is as far as budgeting for this baby and getting things for this baby, but there are a couple things that we did have with Zoe that we either absolutely hated or we never used, and I'm definitely going to be trading a lot of that stuff in, and I would love to just do a, a whole video on that for you guys to show you what we used and what we didn't use, what we like and what we didn't like, um, and things that we will be trading in for this baby. I did put a deposit down for my maternity and my newborn pictures. I'm so excited because this is something I did not really do for either of my previous pregnancies. Um, I had a really low photography budget and I tried to do a lot of stuff myself or, you know, like with family friends and things like that. And um, that's kind of something that I've always really regretted. I did have some really nice newborn pictures for Lilia. Um, and I took my own pictures when both of the girls were born, and that was really nice, but I haven't ever had like a professional, a real professional come in and take some photos of me and my pregnancy, um, or my girls as they were newborn, um, and so I did put my deposit down for that, and I'm so excited. Um, I don't, I don't have the date or anything yeah. that we'll be doing that yet, but that is no. definitely no. something that no. was really important to me no. this time around. Um, and it is a little bit expensive, but I feel like I regret more so not doing it than I, I mean, I'll never regret having those pictures and those memories. Um, and especially the quality that these photos are going to be, so that's really exciting. Um, 
Um, and that's no. part of the reason why I did choose to save money on the um, on the actual birth of the baby. Um, if you recall in my earlier videos, I was struggling because I really wanted to have either a home birth or a birth in a birthing center, and that's just very expensive. And um, it just kind of came down to the decision that if I'm going to do that, then I don't have any room in my budget for anything else, including maternity pictures and newborn pictures. And um, I mentioned that I would like to go on a baby moon, and I would really like to keep my budget open for those things. We just kind of decided that I was going to have as close to a home birth or birthing center birth as possible, and um, that's left our budget open for these extra things that I'm really excited about. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my 19-week belly. Um, hopefully you can get a good view of it. Again, I'm on the bed. Um, like I said, it's the only way that I can get the window to show um, the light. So here's it from the front. It's really starting to fill out and it's really starting to get pretty heavy. From the side. Shirt down. I know I usually do shirt down first and then shirt up. I don't know. I'm just kind of distracted today, I guess. So that's my 19 week, almost 20 week belly, actually, because I will be 20 weeks tomorrow, but better late than never. So let's see. Last time I think I measured at 34 inches. I can go back and watch the video to be sure. Let's see what I am this week. I am right at 34 and a half inches this week. Maybe a little bit more than 34 and a half. Or maybe it's exact. I don't know. <laughs> One or the other. Um, so that is it for my 19 week update. I hope y'all enjoyed it and then stay tuned for that gender neutral baby haul video that I keep telling you guys that I'm going to do again So I'm definitely going to do that and if y'all have any other suggestions for videos that you would like to see in the future Please leave me a comment below and let me know of anything that you would like to see And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all for my next video. Bye!